So I'm going to try to use this log splitter to split this motor in half. Just this one little one at the end. Hopefully I can split it down the center. These other two I'm just using like to fill up the space because this arm won't reach all the way down to the blade. So hopefully it won't slip to the side or anything. I haven't tried it yet. But it should have more than enough pressure or power to split this thing. My idea is to split this in half this way so it's easier to just pull the copper windings out each side. I have uh, a couple ideas I want to do with this log splitter. But first I figured I'd try out how it does by itself without changing anything. After I see how this goes I might if it works, I guess I might even keep it like this, but I think I'm gonna need a longer, skinnier blade and some sort of adjustment on that to hold the other side of the motors. But for now, I'm gonna give this a shot and see what happens. So I'm gonna try to find a spot to set up the camera because I need to use two hands to operate this thing. There's a button right here. <laughs> Start some motor and on the back here you can pull to different powers uh, first is soft wood and then number two is for hardwood pull to the side like this so I'll set up the camera and give this a shot and see what happens Okay, so I think that's as good as it's going to get for setting the camera up. Got a pair of safety glasses here just in case. And see what happens. Definitely started splitting it. I pushed, started pushing everything sideways. Twisted this one. Twisted that one pretty good. This one did split quite a bit. But not very straight. It's just prying it. I think if it's like a long skinny piece of steel, it has to be obviously a heavy duty and hardened steel or something, but should be able to push right through it all. I'm going to go ahead and give it another shot. So I'll get it set back up and then we'll give it another squeeze and see what happens. So I set it back up. I have the side that was split open on the point there and then I just turn this motor on its side keeping it all to this side so it just stays in place until I start putting pressure on it so here we go just deforming this thing so that's a pain in the ass so it's not working very good but I guess it does prove that I'm gonna have to make a separate attachment or even take this off completely and put my own attachments on so I had to try it as it is first before I start figuring out how how to make it work better so I guess that's it for now I'll give you an update in a little while and show you what 
I end up doing with this thing. Got a lot of motors to take apart, so I want to make some sort of machine to make it easier. So, thanks for watching. Too much shit in here. Had to do this in this little space right here. Don't even have to have such a mess. Like, there's not even that much stuff here. I just have clutter everywhere. Need to start organizing. Hey, I decided to give it one more go. Switched up the center one. This one shouldn't deform like the other one, so. And I turned the last motor, turned it around, so it's gonna split on the other side, hopefully. Well, that was pretty scary. The camera stopped recording as soon as it popped out of there. But it popped out. It's pretty loud. Completely messed this thing up. Look at this thing. I can barely even pick it up because I don't want to cut my fingers. <laughs> Completely fucked it up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. Because now it's going to be next to impossible to put those copper windings out. Mash this thing up pretty good. I guess that's fine. I can still cut that case out. Probably pretty easy. This one just got squished in a little bit. So... Yeah, that was pretty sketchy. I guess it's probably pretty dangerous, so I'll leave it at that for now, I think, until I adjust this, try to make up my own attachments, and then try it again and go from there. Once again, thanks for watching. Update you in a bit. Sketchy or what? <laughs> so I brought the log splitter home. Tried to make these little cardboard cutouts to give myself a better idea on how I want to do it. So I just made it out of cardboard for now. So I can have like a template and then I'll go ahead and replicate it with steel. Weld it all together. I don't know if this is exactly how I want to keep it, but this is my idea. To have one with like a slot in it so that this blade can push right through hopefully right through the center this is the only motor I have at home to show you as an example so if this just splits in between one of these sheets of metal she'll be able to cut right through the copper cut it into two pieces and once it's in two pieces I have another setup like this. I'll replace this. So our plan is to do something like this. I only made one because I just have to make two of the exact same thing. So my idea is to put that on this side and have that one moving. put this motor on there like this and then when they squeeze together it will force the copper down and the steel up or possibly the other way around like this so if this one was on the other side it should force its way in which should in theory, force the copper up and the metal down, or the opposite way around. So, that's my thought for now. If you have any recommendations or any ideas that you think would work or work better, definitely let me know.
had this idea for a while. I just haven't got around to actually making it. So once I get some, some time and I need to plug my welder into my generator I just got or take the welder to somebody else's house and try to weld it there. And with hurting my eye, now I'm all nervous to use a grinder, so I'm not really in a big rush to cut all of this out in metal. I got sheet metal at the shop. So, I guess that's it for now. Yeah, this is a six and a half ton log splitter, so I should have plenty of force to do the cutting or to break something. I don't know which piece will be the weakest depending on how I build this. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.